Hey everyone, in this video here we're going to go through setting up a new membership level in WPE members by Tips and Tricks HQ. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do, head over to in the WPE member menu on the left side in WordPress, click on membership level, that's where I'm at here right now. Click on the add new button. And then think of, um, this should have been pre-planned of course, but think of name, a name that you want for this membership level. All right, for this example, I'm just going to go with silver. And you can also choose a default role. So when somebody signs up for this membership level, they, um, they will also become the role that you specify here. Now, this only works, um, I'm going to head over to the settings, this the settings tab here, in general settings, right near the bottom. One sec while I find it. There is a section right here for WordPress user integration settings. Now, the only way that this will take effect, it, it's dependent entirely on this section here. So now, this must be checked in order for that to work, and this must be unchecked. So this basically says um, we're going to create a new WordPress user. So you're going to you can actually separate um, WPE member users from WordPress users, but with this checked, it will integrate the users so that anytime a new user is created for WPE member, it also creates a, a user for WordPress. Um, this checkbox here will preserve the current user role. So if we leave that unchecked, then whatever you specify in this section here will become the new user role when somebody becomes a member of this membership level. All right, so that's how that works there. In this box here, you could specify where you want the user to redirect to um, immediately after they log in. So if you have a section that's specific for your silver members, you can have you can have them redirect immediately to that section there. Okay, this here, uh, you can globally set it so that this particular user has no access to any of the pages on the website. For example, so you can uncheck that. Um, they can, if you want them to have access to any pages at all, you'll leave that checked, and then in the manage content protection area, which I'll go through in a second you can specify which pages they have access to. But if you don't want them to have access to any pages at all and you never intended them uh, for them to, you can, you can uncheck that. And the same goes for all these other types here, these content types. All right, and then this subscription duration, you can choose um, if you want the silver level access to never expire, which is the default setting here or you can expire after a certain number of days, weeks, months, or, or years, or you can have it expire after a fixed amount of time. And then they'd, they'd have to renew by making another payment, for example, after if this expires, they just won't be able to gain access to the content that's being protected for this uh, user level until they, um, until they become an, a new member again by, for example, by making another payment, all right? And this is if you have your autoresponder um, settings set up. I'll, go, I'll show you that right here. Now you have to have um, the API settings set up for whatever your third party email responder is. Um, or for with, with AWeber, you can just do the uh, standard list name email parser right here. Now, for any of the other ones, MailChimp or GetResponse, the API settings have to be filled in and all the other settings in order for this to work with a particular membership level. Um, so once those settings are in place, then you can decide um, if there's a unique list that you want your subscribers, your silver subscribers to be signed up to when they become a member. Um, so you can have global settings here, but if you have specific settings for this particular membership level, 
that's what you would specify in here. So you can read here to, so you know exactly what to put in there. It just depends a lot on your email service provider, what, what goes in here. And if you'd rather just keep them on the same list regard, regardless of membership level, then there's nothing to do in this box here. You just have to maintain the settings in, in this section here, which is under autoresponder settings in the settings menu. All right, I'm gonna create this here. So now I have um, a silver member, member, and when they sign up, they're gonna automatically become a subscriber, providing I leave those settings in in the general settings for users. Okay, as long as that's on, they will automatically become a subscriber. And this has to be off, this checkbox here. And they'll become a subscriber when they become a silver member. And they have access to all the all these types of content um, on a global level, but we can specify specifically what they have access to in the Managed Content Protection section, which I'll go to next. And their subscription is only is valid until it canceled. So there's no expiry date. Um, we could change that, of course. I could just modify. I can click on Edit here and modify the expiry date or any of the other settings. All right. So now let's go to Manage Content Protection. It's currently set up so that. See, with the first thing you want to do, of course, if this isn't already set up, is to specify your general protection. You decide first of all what content is going to be protected from the visitors of your website. Not all the content has to be, a lot of it could be public content. So you set you set that up first. So in this example I set it so that all the content um, that exists on the site here, well all the posts, I'm in the post section here as you can see right here, all of that is protected. Alright, so what I did was just check mark that it filled in all the boxes and click set protection. So in general, all my posts are protected. So that means that there has to be some level of membership in order to gain access to that content. So now I can specify exactly what a silver member is, to, is able to see. So since all this content is protected in general, I can specify which posts to grant access to the silver membership level. So just those two posts in this example. And then I can do the same thing with pages. But if I don't want them to gain access to pages at all, again, I could turn that off globally and then I won't have to specify any of these settings individually for this membership level. All right, that's really all there is to it for, mem for managing levels in WPE members. Uh, thanks for watching.